Hi and welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to share with you my complete and utter failure to sew anything at all in February. But I do have fabric and patterns that I can share with you. So let's get into it. For the month of February, my goal was to sew my Easter outfit. If you have watched my sewing goals for this year, you'll know that every month I want to do an entire outfit. And so for the month of February, my outfit that I wanted to sew was a blazer, a top, and a skirt. I got none of it done, but I'm going to share with you the fabric. So I will start with the top. If you've seen my channel before, you know that I don't actually use patterns the way they're supposed to be used. I chop them up. So I'm going to, for just my top part, I'm going to use Simplicity 1755, and I'm just using this bodice portion. It's a sleeveless, it's like raglan sleeves with a collar to hold it all together. I would love to do something a little bit fancy. Um, maybe pearl buttons going up the back or something like that. And I picked up this gorgeous um, uh, China Silk. Fashion Fabrics Club was having a sale. It's like $11 a yard or something. And you only need like a yard of fabric or less. Um, so I did pick this up. It's gorgeous. It is a lining fabric. So, or overlays, special occasion type fabric. So it will need a lining, and I think that will be very, very pretty. And you're thinking, that is a strange color. I know it's a strange color, but it matches this next fabric that I'm going to share as I drop everything on the floor. Um, this is a silk tweed that I found at my local fabric store. They do not have an online retail shop, so I can't share where to get this. Um, it's got a green, a blue, a cream, kind of a purplish color in there, and I picked out the green to go with it. Under certain lights, it matches better than under other lights. So, for this fabric, this is what I'm going to be making the blazer and the skirt out of. For the uh, blazer pattern, I am going to try my hand at these lovelies. Vogue 8, excuse me, V8804 and V8991. Both of these um, are advanced patterns. I don't think I'm an advanced sewer, but I do love hand sewing, so I'm looking at this as an awesome challenge. I did read on PatternReview.com, somebody finished this one and she likened it to climbing Mount Everest. It's something that once you get done, you stand up and you go, yay, and then you really don't want to do it again. Um, so we'll see, and I do have a lining fabric. This is some more of that China silk that I got from the FashionFabricsClub.com sale. Um, Hi, roosters. Um, this particular one is just a white. I think it'll go fine as a lining. I'm going to do a lining however they tell me to do it in this pattern. I'm going to line and then for the skirt, um, excuse me, I have to pick up my patterns. For the skirt, I'm going to use that China silk as um, Hong Kong seam finishing. I've never done it before, but I've been interested in doing it for a while, so I'm going to try that. And it won't be a surprise to anybody that I'm going to use Butterick B5917, just the, um, the pencil skirt portion, but I'm doing a twist this time. I've made this pattern so many times, it's pretty much a staple in my wardrobe. Um, Simplicity 1919. Um, has a ruffle. You can't see it, but if you look at the detail for the skirt portion of this pattern, there is a, the back is a four panel. It's got the center panel with a ruffle panel at the bottom. I have put this skirt together before, so I know it's super simple. The only thing I'm changing is this has a side zip, and I'm going to move it to a back zip. And I've already got the muslin worked out, 
to put these two patterns together. That I did manage to get done in February, but I don't count that as an actual project mate because I've got nothing to wear. Um, so I, I've i just overlaid, I traced off both patterns on the back. This one I'm using the front and the back is altered. This one I just used to overlay onto the back panel, the back pattern piece of this and um, you know, came up with my new back panel, my back pattern pieces to get that ruffle panel on the back. Um, and again, for both the skirt and the blazer, I'm using this and this. So that is the majority of what I'm doing for, well, it's supposed to be February. I'm going to be moving this to March, obviously, because I still need an Easter outfit. So um, for my accessory, I do not have time with this crazy um, Vogue jacket pattern. I do not have time to do a another pocketbook or a bag or anything crazy like that. So for this month, um, the only thing, or for this outfit, the only accessory that I'm going to have is earrings and I've actually already got them. Um, if you follow me on social media, you'll see that I actually put them together already in everything. I purchased, again from Rio Grande, the um, silver uh, cabochon earrings, and then I also purchased separately the jade cabochons to go in the cabochon earrings. So I got these, and I think they will look very pretty with the outfit. As far as shoes, I have no idea. Where am I going to find some green shoes? I don't know. Um, so we will have to see what comes of the shoe department. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I am desperate to learn how to make shoes. There are online shoe kits and things that you can buy. And I'm going to be doing it. By the end of the year, I'm going to be making shoes. Not guaranteeing I'm going to be making them well, but I'm going to at least be trying. So then I will actually be able to have everything coordinating to make an entire outfit. So that makes me extremely happy and extremely excited. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All of the links of everything that I've talked about, I will put in the description box below. And I hope that you are having a much more productive sewing month than I am. And cross your fingers, wish me luck, and then I get the sewing mojo back and can finish all of these, plus what I actually had planned for March, which is a whole nother outfit. Maybe if I get this one done, I'll tell you about it in another video. So, bye for now. Happy stitching.